DEI was the second big topic of conversation. And that topic of conversation, largely but not exclusively, was around hiring and promotion to advance diversity, equity, inclusion efforts. And you know, right, for many, many, many years and decades, there have been diversity, equity, inclusion efforts out there, but this happens to women and people of color disproportionately, which is they don't have the experience because they haven't been given the opportunity. So now they're on that vicious cycle, right, that even unintentional bias continues that cycle and is preventing opportunities. So what was the conversation about? Well, the de is of more significance than ever and more efforts are made in, in this front than we've probably seen in all of our lifetimes um, in, a, in a significant way to make things better. But it's difficult if de is something that you're doing separate from business outcomes. Um, and part of what got a lot of discussion and there's a lot of clients taking actions on it is how do you see through a lack of experience on the resume so that you could help advance DEI efforts, whether it's outside hires or promotions, right? And we discussed the Florida State University meta analysis that looked at some 60 different studies on pre hire experience and how much it correlates to performance and retention. And the answer is it doesn't. Um, there's very, very little correlation between pre hire experience and performance. Even if the person has done the same job that they're being hired for and have done it for years and it's the same kind of level, it has very little to do with will they perform well at your job in your company. Even as practitioners of this stuff here at MindWire, this study stunned me about how conclusive it was that it has little to do with this. So what were best practices? One thing clients are doing is, again, using job targets, behavioral and cognitive targets to identify, select, and promote those without the resume because it's a better predictor of performance and it helps address this piece that DEI can't be separate from business outcomes. If you know, boy, they've got great behavior and cognitive, now you know if they're a great match for that job, they're likely to be good at it, get good at it fast if they don't have the experience and be highly engaged. And you can make much better bets on higher promotion, et cetera, and not get stuck in the wheel of they don't have experience. Well, how do they get experience? This is a- Tom, can you talk for a second about where clients are using the assessments in the hiring pipeline? Yeah, <clears throat> that's a great point, Hero. So right up front, meaning not after you get down to four or five finalists, because when you wait to use the tools, resume screening is going to come into play. And then phone screening based on experience is going to come into play. And you're not going to be able to see through the resumes that might look good on paper, but aren't the right fit for you, behavioral and cognitively. More importantly, you're going to miss widening your funnel to those people where the right behavior and cognitive is there, but the resume isn't. Um, so the sooner you initiate the assessments right up front, the more you're going to widen your funnel of candidates and have more people that your competitors don't know about who would be great if you gave them the chance, for sure. Also inclusion, right? If you're the only woman in a department, only person of color in a department, you might already feel, boy, I am, you know, just not with others like me so much. But what, what tools can you use? If you look at engagement surveys, my manager understands and values my strengths and who I am is one of the questions that's most correlated to high engagement. Using their behaviors and motivating needs, the things that are on a management strategy guide is a one piece of a solution of creating a more inclusive environment. And the nice thing is um, it works with everybody, right? It's not just for women or people of color, or other folks that are you're, you're trying to address with this. It's a way to kind of tie that lifts all boats. How does a leader know how to adjust and recognize the needs of one person versus another? Again, a great use around inclusion. These two things alone aren't enough, but they can be big difference makers. And you're able to say to the business, we're also going to get better outcomes by doing these things. It's not just that we want to do DEI for good efforts. Now it's part of the business strategy. 